guys, how are you doing now? Tell me, tell me, tell me, how important do you think happiness is to you? Before we carry on with that, I'm Rosemary Noni Knight. I'm RNK for short, the Prosperity Minister, where I equip you to prosper in all areas of life, relationships, health, wealth, work, and <laughs> spirituality as well. Now, we're gonna sing our affirmation. <laughs> Here we go. I am in transition to even more abundance. I expand, I allow, I expand, I allow. I am in transition to even more abundance. I expand, I allow, I expand, I allow more love, I expand, I allow more light, I expand, I allow. Okay, that's our affirmation. I expand, I allow. I love those two words. I expand and I allow. I expand and I allow. One of the things that we have in this community is that we're very, we can be, we can be very constricted. We can be very constricted. Things have happened. Things have hurt. People have made you feel resentful. People have hurt you. People, you know, you've gone through events that have almost felt like they've broken you a little bit. And the tendency is to want to play smaller protect yourself completely from anything out there. The problem is that you're protecting yourself and holding on desperately to your pain as though your pain will save you from further pain, except it doesn't. People stay in situations where they're not happy, where they're not satisfied, where things are not working because they think that that's all they can have. And so, yes, we're in this transition period where you could be transitioning into more abundance, but the longer it takes, and unfortunately, we're the ones in control of how long it takes. The longer it takes, the more you start to tell yourself that maybe things are not going to work out for you. And then happiness becomes one of those frivolous things that you don't actually think you need to, to step into more of. Except it's like I'm saying here, we expand and we allow. I allow more love. I allow more light. You can't do that from a place of sadness and depression and fear because you're holding on to all of this stuff that came from the past and you don't know how to get rid of or you've chosen not to get rid of it because you think it's a protection to you. But it's not. What it's doing is keeping you in that transition period where you don't ever quite get to where you want to go. But then you start telling yourself a story of how people like you don't get the things that you desire. But the thing is this, we are divine beings. You get to tell yourself any story you want to. And if that story you're telling yourself is one that doesn't enable you to prosper, then you're in trouble. Because the divine will never force your hand. The universe will never force your hand. You are your own savior or your own jailer. You, by living from the pain of the past, get to choose whether you're going to stay there, start to keep making decisions based on your experience, or are you going to elevate into a place of more love, more light? And all of this stuff sometimes sounds really wishy-washy, and I, I used to completely think, oh, it's also wishy-washy nonsense stuff. I mean, I've always been spiritual forever, but it wasn't the kind of thing that I'd be talking about so publicly. Well, would I? I would, I would, and I wouldn't. I don't even know. I don't know. What I do know is this, it's not enough to work your ass off. I tried, okay? It's not enough to work your ass off doing all the right stuff, following all the rules, doing everything that people tell you to do, hoping that maybe that you can then keep yourself protected from other people because you've followed all the rules and you'll get your own way and blah, blah, blah. it doesn't work. It doesn't work. You just stay in the struggle you stay in the pain. You actually have to choose <laughs> to do the internal work, to elevate yourself to a place of love, to a place of happiness, because then you open up to receiving. So then, then the work that you're doing actually starts to give you results. 
we all, I, I say this all the time, but I, I have to emphasize this because I know that we in this community, we are hard workers. We don't shy away from work. We shy away from the real work though. <laughs> the internal work, we think it's a bit stupid and woo woo. And as much as we're all spiritual people, we don't, we don't take how we don't see how seriously we need to take it sometimes. And we don't need to take it seriously, but you see what I mean, that we don't, we give more priority to the physical work. I'm not saying there's no physical work to be done. But if you're walking around doing all this physical work, feeling really sad, feeling really down, feeling really like, oh, life is horrible you will keep recreating life is hard, life is tough, life is horrible. It will keep happening, it will keep being your reality, it will keep showing up in your life. And that is not your birthright, but that is what you can claim if you want to. Or <laughs> you can do the work that you're doing anyway, but then do it from a happier place, from a more joyful place. You might find that some of the work you're doing either reduces or changes because suddenly you're open to newer ways of doing things. Suddenly you're open to more opportunities that may have always been there, but you didn't see because you were enamored. I, read, I, I did a spirit speak, I think it was yesterday or the day before. You, so I kind of got this thing from the divine about the fact that somebody or some people are almost sitting like in a tent of their own making. It's like a tent. It's supposed to keep them safe supposed to keep them safe, but actually they've locked themselves in there with their pain. They've locked themselves in the tent with their pain, thinking that they're safe from all the pain outside there. And maybe they are, but they're also safe from all the good that is trying to find them. Honey, it's time to let go, let go. Choose to do the inner work. Choose to do the work of elevating yourself to a place of happiness, a place of joy, a place of love. And in doing that, you open up, you expand, and you allow in more of your abundance. And abundance is actually your birthright. But in order for you to step into that, you have to, <laughs> you have to choose to open up to it. Again, you can work your socks off forever. If you're closed to your good, no matter how hard you work, you won't get where you want to go. You just won't. And I can say this forever, but until you hear me, you don't hear me. But anyway, some of you have been working so hard for so long. Take this as the divine trying to get through to you, to tell you that there is another way, that it can be easier, that it can be more fun. You simply need to choose to put yourself in a place where you can experience more, okay? Okay, I'm gonna leave it at that for right now. We're gonna bring this to a close with the affirmation. I have a client call in a minute. I am in transition to even more abundance. I expand, I allow, much amazing love wherever you are have a great rest of your day till next time bye